Okay, it's time for the home inspection. Awesome part of the process of buying a new home, you definitely wanna do an inspection, or at least we always recommend one. And one of the things that I wanted to do is just shoot this quick video just to give you an idea of what to expect, go over some estimated costs, discuss what happens if there's an issue, and then also uh, just give some other general recommendations for you. Okay, so what to expect. So the timing of this inspection is gonna be typically two to four hours long. I mean, they're kind of long because the inspector is gonna go through the property with a fine tooth comb, right? They're gonna look at everything. However, it is a visual inspection, right? They're not gonna like remove walls or look under stuff super closely so they can only see what they, what they see. So it is visual in nature. Their inspection, they're usually gonna to put together a, a pretty long report. You know, the best, the good inspectors do anyway, right? They've got a good, nice long report and it's gonna have photos of any of the potential defects and items. They're gonna usually point out what those are and things that maybe, maybe aren't an issue today but could be an issue if not addressed in the future. So the other thing to expect though um, in terms of timing is sort of keeping in mind our deadline for the contingency. So with an inspection contingency, you know, say a typical time frame is maybe two weeks, right? So we'll usually want to do our inspection on the front end of that two week time frame so that if there's any defects or issues or items that come up that we have time to negotiate those repairs or get a second opinion or get a contractor in there or figure out what might be going on so that we have time to kind of deal with that because you know that that contingency deadline once it passes then technically the property is sold as is so um, but obviously we'll help you through that process as well next part is estimated costs so typical costs for a home inspection most homes or condos are going to be usually 500 to 700 dollars now, if it's a much larger home, you know, a lot of square footage or an older home, sometimes those are added costs. Or if it's a multi-unit, like a duplex or four unit, something like that, those are definitely gonna be more as well. Radon test is another option. Um, if you're gonna test at the time of the inspection, usually it's gonna be $150 to $200 to do the radon test. Uh, well and septic inspections are also additional costs for rural properties and that kind of thing in the country. So next step is, well, what happens if there's an issue? Well, first of all, <laughs> more than likely there will be issues, okay? It's very common to have some things found, defects found, quote unquote defects, right? That are found in the property. And and that's normal in used homes. I mean, unless you're buying a brand new property, there's probably going to be something that the inspector will find and point out. Now, what do we do about that? Well, it depends. So usually we're gonna address it and either we're gonna say it's okay, I don't, I'm fine with that, I'll deal with it after closing, or we're gonna go back to the seller and say, hey, we need you to fix this or we wanna get some type of credit or price adjustment to account for that needed repair and fix that defect, whatever that is. So we usually start those negotiations with what we call an amendment to the offer. So the amendment requires both buyer and seller to sign off and agree to any changes. So if there's no agreement, then nothing changes, right? We can propose an amendment, but if, if the seller doesn't agree, then nothing changes in our contract. However, if, we, if our negotiations kind of stall and we get kind of near the close, at the end of our deadline for our inspection contingency, we may want to consider sending what's called the notice of defects. And the notice of defects is we're sending that to the seller and we're saying, hey, here's a notice, we found these defects, these are deal breaker items, and if they're not fixed or addressed, this deal is off. And we'll help draft all of those and help go over what, uh, what the next step in the process is, but, but that would be kind of the, the last stand before that we'll want to do before the inspection contingency ends. So don't worry, we're here to help guide you through the process. We have recommended home inspectors on hand as well. So if you want a recommendation, obviously we'll help you with that um, and look forward to uh, helping you through the inspection contingency.